What I wanted to do today was show you how to create a parchment effect in Adobe Photoshop. First of all, what we're going to do is uh, start a new layer, grab our fill tool, and fill in the background of this layer. It's a separate layer uh, with um, a color that resembles parchment. Once we have a good color, we're going to go to our texturizer, which is under filters textures texturizer and uh, pick a good texture that's uh, gonna make it look like an old document and after we have our texture we're gonna want to roughen up the edges with a uh, hard-edged eraser on the fill layer that we had uh, just created Now we're going to want to select our layer that we just created by left clicking while holding down the control or command on a Macintosh key and that will select our layer that we just created and uh, we'll go around the outside edges with a soft brush uh, with the brush mode set to multiply Now what I'm going to want to do is open up a black and white image and copy it to the clipboard and I'm going to go over to our image that we're working on and I'm going to paste it into the image and that creates a new layer. The trick to this and it's this is really an, an easy uh, solution to what we're looking for uh, basically just change our layer mode down in the layers menu there, change it to multiply, that basically makes the uh, black lines uh, show up and the, the anything that's white is going to disappear and blend into the background. That's going to give us our faded look to make it look like a an old pen and ink drawing. I'm basically just going to move this image around where it looks best experiment a little bit and try to find something that looks good behind our, our image. Once I have it positioned where I like it, I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of everything around the edges that shows up outside of our document layer. I'm going to select our document layer, like I said, by clicking while holding down the control or command key and then invert the selection by holding shift control I and uh, once it's inverted you're going to hit backspace to delete any lines that we don't want there. Once we've done that we're finished and uh, we have an old document. Thanks for watching.